Hello everyone, I'm Wang Jing from University of Science and Technology of China. It's a great honor to introduce our work domain adaptation model for retinal passive detection from cross-domain OCT images for you. First, the motivation of our work lies in classifier trained from one domain images and labels performed badly on new domain images. As the level of the new images is difficult to acquire, we figured out that aligning these two domain distributions can solve this problem. First, we define a set of images with labels as source domain and the images without labels without label as target domain. We aim to train a classifier which can perform well on both two domains. Inspired by the state of the of the art methods, we trained a feature generator to extract in the domain environment invariant and discriminative features from two domains. Then the source classifier were, were used to train the classifier. When testing, the target images were sent to the feature generator first and then the target feature were classified by the classifier. This is the detailed network architecture consisted of a generator, two discriminator and a classifier. The most important part of our mod model is that we combined a voice team estimator labeled as B here and a, a domain a discriminator labeled as A here to manage the distance, the domain distance, where the D was used to estimate the voice team distance between source and target domain and provide stable gradient. And the, the A was used to use the to monitor the domain discrepancy directly to help the convergence of the model. This combination can better monitor the distance between feature representations while avoiding the gradient vanishing problem. The generator is optimized to minimize the estimated discrepancy. The, van the generator and the discriminator were trained in an adversarial manner and the classifier trained to detect retinal passing. We tested our model on public digit datasets transfer minutes to USPS and on the custom OCD images dataset. Transfer images captured from servers to images captured from spectralus. Comparing our method with some state-of-the-art methods, the result demonstrates that our method achieves the best performance on both two tasks. It should also be noted that when testing the source evaluation set with the adaptation model, our proposed method only have a minor accuracy reduction while other domain adaptation methods have a large accuracy reduction compared with the source-only method, especially on the retinal OCT images. We evaluate the contribution of the domain discriminator labeled as LWD LAD here and the worst team distance estimator leveled as LWD here separately. The result is shown as in, in this table. It can be found that both the LWD and the LAD work, work effectively in reducing the domain distance, where LWD works a little better when they were applied along. But the result can be further improved when applying these two components at the same time. It confirmed the effectiveness of the proposed loss strategy. We plot the TSNE visualization of the digit classifi classification tasks to an analyze the representations distribution. Show as the first row where the red and the blue spots represent the source and target domain in separate and each cluster represents a category a category. Uh, finger D is a result of our method. It can be clearly observed that our method got the best, best performance in, re in reducing the domain discrepancy while keep the distance between categories. And the TSNE figures of the OCT images were displayed in the second row. As we can see, the distance between the red and the purple or blue and green spots is closer in our proposed method. So it can be concluded that our model obtains the best performance in reducing the representations distance between the source and target domains. For the future work, we are working on combining this domain adaptation model with gener generative model to translate the source images into target style for more tasks like segmentation or laser detection. Okay, that's all. Thank you.